everybody, this is Praxis, and today the plumbers finished up everything that they could do in the house forever. Everything that the plumbers are going to do, they've done, they're sending me the bill, and there are a few things left to do, like there's no kitchen sink, there are no sinks in either of the bathrooms. Uh, I have to install those later, but those are just easy. You take the braided hoses and you screw them up into your fixture and you're done. So all that stuff is done and it feels pretty good. They also in, uh, hooked up this outside spigot. Uh, the water line comes up here and then there's a little hose here that we can run out to the yard. And uh, today what I wanted to talk about is these hose clamps. Now you recall, uh, you know, a week or two ago, I was installing these guys, putting this up here. Oh, by the way, this thing here, is just, it's just temporary. I took the, uh, this is that metal bar I was using to kind of stomp down the uh, compacted gravel that was around all the cinder blocks that uh, make the air, vi air vents under the floor. I, I just kind of stuck this in here and I was going to maybe take some hay bale twine and kind of temporarily kind of tie this up just to rigidify it. Uh, later on, what I'm going to be doing is I want to put concrete around this, maybe some stones and make kind of a concrete pillar that comes up out of the ground. And, uh, you know, this part will come out. Maybe it'll go up to a box. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Um, it, it'll go several feet down into the ground as well to, to be, uh, you know, have a bit of a foundation on it. But that's the plan for this thing. But anyway, I wanted to talk about these hose clamps. When I was running uh, the pressure out here, once I got it all set up, uh, this set of hose clamps and this set and this set, they were all fine. But uh, down uh, the lower area over there, there where the, uh, the hose comes out, uh, I have another set of hose clamps, two of them going onto another barb, and those just kept leaking. Uh, you know, I, I tried to tighten them down as best I could, uh, and I ended up stripping out one of them. Uh, it, the hose clamp was stripping before it would tighten enough to prevent the 40 PSI water uh, from leaking out of that. And it just, it's a real illustration. I, I mentioned earlier about how little respect I have for these things. And they're really, really junky. If you can come up with another way, I know one of you guys had mentioned the, like a haywire thing. It's like a hay bale twisting kind of thing. I'm going to try that out. But, you know, if you can find a way of working without using these hose clamps, they're really junky. Uh, you know, it's especially using them on on these harder plastic kind of things. Maybe they're great for actually clamping on hose, but uh, in fact they are. They're great for clamping on hose, but if you use them on these harder plastics, and, and professionals frequently do, in fact the well people installed a couple up there, uh, I just don't think they're very reliable. And like I said, this set works, this set works, this set works. That set didn't work. That is a 25% uh, failure rate. Well, I've got six other sets of these buried in different places. There are three sets right down here. There's a T down at the bottom, two, two on one side, two on a branch coming up. So there's three here. There is a set uh, over here, uh, two sets over there actually with a union over here. And then there's another, actually no, it's, it's more. It's more than six sets. Anyway, there's a lot of these buried under the ground and uh, I just don't have a lot of confidence in them. And I not a fan of that. <laughs> I'm not a fan of stuff you can't trust. Um, but, you know, I, I do have ways of finding out whether they, they work or not. I can test the pressure on the line and just see, you know, if it's leaking somewhere, I can always kind of go back down and, uh, you know, dig them up and, and try to fix them and see if they're leaking. But, uh, yeah, don't have confidence in these hose clamps, unless you're going to like a rubbery hose. That seems to work fine. But for this rigid stuff, they don't work very well. That's it. Thanks for watching.